a group of brave, beautiful misfits coming together and finding a place where they belong. That's Ellen Wong describing the latest Netflix hit, Glow. The Toronto actress is part of the ensemble cast that's being praised for breaking new ground for women in the entertainment industry. Going into Glow, what were your expectations? I wasn't sure. It definitely was a new, it was new territory. First, because um, finding out that I was going to be working with 13 other women every day, and those are just the ones on screen that I'm working with, like the other actresses. And then there are also so many amazing women behind the screen, the creators, the writers. Um, it was just, it was scary, because I've never in my life had to work with so many women, or been around that many women, actually. So it was scary because it was unknown territory for me personally. And it ended up becoming the most encouraging, nurturing environment that I've ever worked on. It's been so lovely because I feel like it's a unique show that celebrates individuality. The show is about a female wrestling circuit in the 1980s, the brainchild of the creative team behind Orange is the New Black. With a cast and production crew made up almost entirely of women, the show is grabbing the spotlight and making a bold statement. Ruth, there's an audition. They're looking for unconventional women, whatever that means. Hello, ladies. I'm Sam Sylvia, and this is GLOW. Sorry, what's GLOW? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Ellen Wong plays Jenny Che, but even her character has its own persona within the show, something she admits she had to warm up to. I definitely was very scared when I saw that I was going to be playing a character named Fortune Cookie, but I also didn't know the wrestling world, and I've come to learn that in wrestling, that's what it's all about. Like these crazy extreme stereotypes in the ring and, and it's this crazy world where you're this caricature and you go all the way or just not at all. And it's fun and it's exaggerated and it's, it's also empowering with all the crazy moves. And so learning more about the wrestling world also brought um, a lot of ease <laughs> to me and comfort knowing that it was, I was playing a stereotype to make a comment on it and it was all through humor and it was done responsibly um, and with a lot of awareness. A social commentary on race, gender and misogyny, the latest body of work for the Scarborough native. So you've been having a good summer? Totally. We've been taking SAT prep classes and AP calculus to beef up our course load. Yeah, sounds awesome. Are you doing anything fun? That is fun. She starred in the Carrie Diaries TV series, the prequel to Sex in the City. Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're on! She was cast in the cult hit Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, shot mostly in Toronto. Wong was born to Chinese Cambodian parents who came to Canada as refugees. And acting wasn't exactly their first choice for their daughter. Like, we are in a country that has so many other resources and jobs that would be considered stable and secure mm -hmm. and uh, where you don't have to constantly put yourself out there and be told no and no and no all the time. And they also said, would say things like, you know, but look at the television screen. There aren't, there's no one like you on screen. So how, you can't do that. And so I definitely took in that fear uh, growing up. But then she went on a backpacking trip to Cambodia, an eye-opening journey that emboldened her to convince her parents her true passion lies in acting. I realized where it all came from and knew that I also was very lucky to be born in a country, in a part of the world, where I could dream and fail and still be okay. She eventually won her parents' support and embarked on a career that's bringing recognition here at home. Wong is one of this year's TIFF Rising Stars, a development program for blossoming Canadian talent.
I'm really excited to be back in Toronto um, on Canadian ground mm -hmm. and to be celebrating Canadian artists and to be with a program that is so supportive and encouraging of its you know emerging talent and also really rallying to put Canadians on an international s sort of platform um, and scale also and I'm also learning about my voice outside of just being an actor. A voice she's already using to find empowerment and advocacy through a TV show that's turning Hollywood stereotyping on its ear. There is a movement going on. There's a need um, for inclusiveness, for diverse stories. And that does not just mean um, fulfilling a quota to just have a minority face on the screen. It means diverse stories in diverse characters, nuanced human beings with backstory who just also happen to be a minority. I think that's what I rally for and I feel like that's what the show is about. Um, and I hope that there can be more of that. I think we're at a time where that's what we want. We want to see our realities reflected on the screen. Um, and I think it's exciting to explore that.